Hi, I'm Norbert Bilton. I'm Product Performance Manager. I work at Watslab Propulsion in the Netherlands. The, the propeller business is a prototype business, so we have to design every propeller for a single ship. Every ship has its own propeller. And we are fighting the way that it has always been evaluated on model testing. And we have learned a lot on Reynolds scaling effect. So we see that on full scale, sometimes the propeller behaves different than in the test and model scale. And the only truth is the full scale, to my opinion. We are interested in ship scale performance, but it's difficult to find this. And currently our customers are asking, for example, for model tests to validate this. And there are a lot of uh, scale effects on model tests. So that gives a lot of difficulties in deciding what is the best solution. At this point, we have engineering simulations, I think, to minimize the surprises in testing. We see that our customers want to do model testing because it's their reference value. And if you're building a multi-million euro ship, I don't want to have the responsibility for the performance. So I accept that model testing is being done but we can minimize the surprises in, uh, by doing the proper homework and doing the simulations so that we can predict what will happen. Basically, we get some certainty about the results. Uh, we can even look uh, broader at the combination of the, pro the propeller, the propulsion and the engine and the controls and how they can perform. So there's quite some benefit. We have nowadays what we call, uh, say, the, the OptiDesign approach, which where we simulate the whole ship, the propeller, the free surface, sinkage and trim. And that's now, uh, I would say, a daily routine. If you looked like five or ten years ago, everybody was like, oh, please validate, and we're, we're not sure. And, and, and you really see this changing nowadays. People do believe more and more in CFD, and I'm pretty sure that for the coming five years, this will continue. We now have uh, Sim Center Star CCM Plus, and we also have uh, Sim Center Armsim, and we are connecting them more and more with each other. And also from the old days, we already we had the CAP package, which is now NX. I think for marine applications, Star CCM Plus is a very uh, logic choice. It's nice to use. It's it's. Uh... It has a nice graphical interface. It has some marine industry in its genes, and I think that's that's important. I think if you do not use simulations and if you stick to the old way, I think you run the risk of being a certain one not competitive anymore. And if you're not competitive with your products, well, you're out of business at a certain point in time.